Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will and thanks for clicking on my first video on my brand new channel, which I'm going to be using as a way to document my journey into my very expensive new hobby of anime figure collecting. So I will be unboxing a lot of stuff on the channel and just kind of maybe talking about anime in general, kind of whenever I feel like it, but it's mostly going to be about the figures. So definitely hit that subscribe button for more videos and let's go ahead and jump into it. So before I get into my box, a little bit of background about myself. So I have been watching anime for a very, very long time. You can find my profile on my anime list down in the description below. If you want to add me, I keep it pretty up to date as well as my profile on my figure collection. So it's definitely down there as well. It's not up to date. I haven't really added anything yet, so it will be up to date soon. But yeah, I've been watching anime for a long time and I got into figure collecting probably about six or seven months ago with my wife. So we've accumulated roughly 40 to 50 figures since then. So I'll have a separate video going over what we've collected so far. But yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into what's in my box. Now for this box, I was really kind of focused on some older anime that I wanted to add figures to. So let's see what we got. I've already opened the box guys. Not a very big box, we didn't get any scale figures this time, just some figmas and a uh, pop-up parade. So the first one is going to be, who is this? Oh, Tsuki Adayagi Figma from Monogatari series. Now the Monogatari series is definitely one of my favorite series out there. I would say it's probably, it's definitely within my top 10 series of all time and maybe even top five. I gotta really think about it, but I love this series. I've watched it twice and I already have figures from that series. So I've definitely been focused on collecting those figures because they're kind of old and they don't really make them anymore. So here we go. The next one, of course, is her sister to complete the fire sister duo, Karen Adeagi. So I'll have these opened up and you know, kind of on display towards the end of the video, guys. But just looking at it, you know what? This is supposed to be pre-owned, but I don't think this has ever been actually open because it still has that kind of original kind of circular sticker right here. And it doesn't look like, actually, no, it does like it's kind of been open, but yeah, it's in very good condition, the box itself. And the figure was supposed to be kind of A-rated on Amiami as pre-owned in the box, which I think was B or B plus, but the box was like, it's kind of brand new as well. So we got the two sisters here. So let's go ahead and get these guys open and see what they look like on the turntable that I bought for you guys. All right, so here we have Karen out of the box and I have her pose in this handstand just because if you know anything about this character from the series, she is very athletic and dynamic. She's a martial artist. So I wanted her to kind of express that and really show that vibe that she had in the anime itself. So yeah, I'm definitely loving these figures. Even those, you know, they're pretty small. I would say maybe what? four inches at most if they're you know standing straight up. You know, they still have a decent amount of detail and a lot of different ways you can pose them, of course. So with her, you know, I had a lot of different options just because of, you know, who she is. So I'll definitely be changing her up in the future. All right, so here we have the second fire sister, Tsuki. Tsuki, I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing her name. Please forgive me. But, you know, compared to Karen, she's not quite as athletic and dynamic in the anime. So I do have her kind of posed in this kind of, you know, just regular stance here. But she is holding a knife. And that is because she is a little bit on the crazy side. She's very protective of her brother and her family in general. So, you know, I had to throw that knife in there. But you do see it in the anime a couple of times. But the quality of this figure is also very nice because her, you know, kimono that she's wearing is actually pretty soft and you can kind of bend it a little bit. It's not like a very hard plastic, specifically, you know, the bottom portion of it. So it's definitely a very nice material. They're very nice quality on these uh, Figmas. So again, you know, it's the first ones that I have, but these are, you know, very impressive. So again, you can, you know, connect this or pose her with her sister, uh, which I might do sometime in the future, maybe. And you can pose her with her brother as well. But, you know, I don't have the brother yet. So hopefully I'll get that sometime in the future. All right. So those were my first two figures from my haul, both pre-owned. And my third one is also pre-owned. It's also from Monogatari. And that is Mayoi-san, the snail. So another Figma that I bought. And this one looks like it's also in pretty good condition. At least the box is. And again, this was also rated A on... 
um, on Miami's website in terms of the figure, and I think like a B or B plus in terms of the box. But the box looks pretty brand new as well. I'm not one that really keep the boxes, so I don't really care. So I'm probably gonna throw the box away anyway. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like once I open it up. All right, so here we have Mayoi the snail, and I just have her in this very kind of energetic pose, that big smile on her face, and you know another very nice quality uh, Figma here, lots of good details. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt trying to get that backpack on her back. It was kind of hard to snap in, uh, but you know we got it done. But I am definitely enjoying this. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but you know I'm sure it'll make it much more expensive, but yeah, definitely loving this figure as much as I am the other ones. All right, guys, so that was Mayoi-san. Definitely very excited about that one. And finally, the third one here is going to be the queen herself, Kaguya-san pop-up parade from Good Smile. So very excited about this one. Perfect timing too, because the season three finale was just released. I just got finished watching it. And my God, what a finale. Finally, some closure between Kaguya and the president. I guess it's closure. Not quite closure, but we're, it looks like we're getting there. And it looks like I don't have to start reading the manga. So I actually just recently ordered some of the manga books to add to my collection. But I'm very excited about this Kaguya. I want a good scale figure of Kaguya-san. I don't think they have enough of her. Of course, they have like the one-fourth scale bunny outfit Kaguya. So I might end up getting that one at some point. But I feel like I just want a really good Kaguya scale figure. Maybe not even one-fourth, one-sixth, one-eighth or whatever. That's a little bit more intricate. But let's see what this looks like on the turntable. And finally, we have the pop-up parade for Kaguya-san. A lot of nice little details here. And, you know, it's just a prize figure, but it is very well made. I always expect, you know, good quality from Good Smile. And for about $25, not including shipping, you know, what more can you really ask for? I really am looking forward to getting a larger Kaguya-san figure sometime in the future with a little bit more, you know, intricacies in her outfit and whatnot. But this is pretty good for $25. And... Now, I definitely will be adding more of her to my collection in the future. All right, guys, so that wraps up all the figures that I got from this haul, and I have a lot more coming in the future. Uh, for this haul, it cost me about $187 for these four figures, so that's roughly about $45 per figure, which is a really good deal because I'm looking on Amazon right now, and it looks like these monogatory Figma figures are going for $80. $85 per figure. So paying $45 is definitely something I prefer to do. But yeah, I have a lot more figures coming in the future, guys, both my wife and I. I'm not even sure how much my wife has in pre-order. She has a lot too, but I have a lot from Amyami, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, and just from other stores and whatnot. So I'll get that all updated on the My Figure Collection website it's very soon, guys, what I have on pre-order. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments what type of content you want to see in the future. And be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.